What is up YouTube? This is Owen Dowell. Today I'm going to be doing a new Zippo video. And today's video is going to be a little bit special because today we're not just doing any new Zippo video. We're going to be doing the first ever Zippo collectible of the year unboxing on my channel. And guys, I am so excited about this. All right, check it out. This is the Zippo 2019 collectible of the year. I'm literally over the moon. <laughs> As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I am obsessed with taking pictures of the moon. I think the moon is a beautiful heavenly body. I mean, really, it is. It's a beautiful heavenly body. It is absolutely <clears throat> just, it's just crazy that that's, it's, it's so close to us. We can see it in such great detail, even without having to zoom in on it with a telescope. And it's just there and it's beautiful. And it's just so hard to believe that 50 years ago, this year, we had some astronauts land on the moon. It's just unbelievable to me. I would give anything to be able to land on the moon and be able to walk on the moon and check out the moon and be able to jump on the moon. It'll jump that high. Oh my gosh. Can you guys even imagine with that low gravity? As you guys can tell, I love the moon. As soon as I saw that the Zippo Collectible of the Year for this year was going to be commemorating the moon landing, it was a mission, an absolute mission of mine to get it. And sure enough, here it is in front of us. The Zippo collection of the year for 2019. So check this thing out, guys. Look at that box and that rainbow effect that is on the moon. All right, check that out. Crazy, right? Take a look on the back here. We've got a little Zip Zippo stamp telling you about, well... We have apparently a cancer warning. <laughs> I guess everything these days collect ca causes cancer, even really nice collectible Zippos. We've got a nice little uh, genuine Zippo product hologram. It'd be really cool if they included that on all their products. A little barcode, whatever that means. And uh, yeah, guys, this is super cool. This actually comes in this neat little plastic thing, which we're going to go ahead and get off. And there it is, guys. In all its glory, the box. Actually, that is on the plastic. If we look on this side, we got a nice little thing. Limited edition 2019 collectible of the year. Moon landing 50 years. And then it goes to tell you that Zippo commemorates the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission. The first time humans ever walked on the moon, each lighter is consecutively numbered and authenticated with a unique bottom stamp. Shall we take a look at it? Let's do it. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Hang on, let's uh, let's actually swipe that away. Whoop. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Oh, what? Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm looking at it in person. I'm not looking at it on the camera. Wow. That is crazy. This is such a cool design, guys. Check that out. Look at that. We've got an astronaut in the background. We got the earth. He's is he holding? Yeah, he is holding the earth in his hands. And then we got the moonscape. Ooh, this is very textured. Wow, I did not realize how textured this would be. The earth is pretty smooth. It's not textured at all. The astronaut is pretty textured. You guys can see it's in the it's actually it's weirdly in the 360 showcase box. But this is not a 360 design. 
check that out. That is so cool. 2019 collectible of the year. Moon landing 30 or sorry, 50 years. July 20th, 1969. Have a look at that. Wow. This is so cool. Let's get it out. Ooh. Oh, interesting. What? Okay. I've never gotten a collectible of the year. Oh, check that out. Is that is that how all these come? Well, actually, I guess come to think of it, they couldn't put the seal on there because if they put the seal on there, it would cover up the number. And I didn't I didn't even try to guess the number like I always do when I get a numbered zippo. This is number 4399, almost 4400 of 1400 or 14,000. They did make quite a few of these. Now, Zippo already sold out of these on their website. Actually, this Zippo does have a bit of a story behind it. They so I was checking Zippo's website every single day since I made that last video of trying to trade for this Zippo. Um, Zippo actually, you know, I, I was checking it one day and one day I checked it and I actually noticed they sold out. So I was kind of like, dang, that sucks. I probably missed out on it. Well, a little bit after I noticed that they sold out, one of you guys actually posted a comment on that video and you said that Zippo has actually been selling these on Amazon for about $20 less than they go for MSRP. Now, I have since hearing that comment been a little bit scared to look at that because of the fact that I was like, well, they might be sold out there too. I'd really rather not go on there and check it. But I recently got a paycheck and I decided that I'd finally go check. And sure enough, when I went to check, not only did they have these in stock, it was in fact $30 less. This actually was about 70 bucks. So when I went to place my order, because I was going to place my order that night, I was like, okay, I'm definitely buying this now. When I placed my order, I'd actually forgotten that I had a little bit of Amazon balance on my uh, on my Amazon account, and uh, thanks to my aunt who sent me uh, some uh, some money for Christmas and for my birthday. As a result, I actually wound up paying nine dollars out of pocket for the collectible of the year 2019. That's right, guys. I got this thing for nine bucks. Can you guys believe that? This thing MSRP is for a hundred dollars. I got it for nine bucks. I can't believe it. I am super happy. Let's go ahead and let's ping it open. Let's hear what it's because it's it's not sealed. That's very unusual for a zipper to come with the with the seal sticker separate like that. I actually really truly did not expect that. So yeah, there's the seal sticker. It's on its own little piece of paper. <clears throat> Ready? bunk there it is the insert in the inside it smells fine <laughs> and you guys know these this might be a really nice you know premium zippo but the neat thing is is that zippo completely makes them usable check that out you see that totally usable lighters pop the insert out you can see this is a, uh, a regular Zippo insert. It's meant to be used. Totally meant to be, you know, pocketed and carried around with you. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and let's check out the bottom stamp. Because as you saw on the box, this thing does come with a unique bottom stamp. And there it is. Look at that. ZL Zippo 19. It is an armor. In case you couldn't tell by the, uh, by the noise. Actually, that's interesting. It says ZL 19. So... Interestingly enough, we don't know the month that this is made in. We just know it's made in 2019. How about that? That's interesting. <clears throat> Bradford PA made in USA. There's the armor emblem. All right. <clears throat> this thing doesn't really have a fantastic noise to it. But guys, this is crazy. Wow, look at that. I'm just, I'm literally, like I said, over the moon that I have this. Nice little close-up. See, there's the Earth. There's the astronaut. Oh, wow. 
This is on something called the Galaxy Finish, which is a very, it's a unique finish to this Zippo. Zippo doesn't put this finish on any of their other lighters. I don't know <clears throat> if they're going to branch out and put this on other lighters. I kind of doubt it. Uh, just because of the fact that it's such a unique lighter. But you can kind of see it really is like a black crackle under there. Or no, actually, if you really look at it, I think what this actually is is a black matte with some like <clears throat> with some fine like glitter on it. That's then been it's then been like quickly coated or dipped or coated in this interesting uh, like enamel, shiny enamel. It feels kind of gritty, even though it shouldn't feel gritty, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't feel quite the way I expected. I really expected this thing to be completely glossy, but it it's kind of not. As you can see, it is still kind of diffused right there. In fact, that uh, that box that I, ooh, I threw it, didn't I? box that I had had a shiny Zippo on it. It was actually having to be my uh, Ebony. Here's a shiny Zippo in comparison, just to kind of give you an idea. You know? Yeah. So there's that. Actually, you know something? I think if Zippo made this design, this exact design, maybe not in an armor, but on like a, a regular ebony, but like did this kind of detail, and uh, you know, it'd be a little bit less textured. That really, guys, that, look at that. That's a chunk. What is that? That's like, wow. You don't see that? It's like a chunk of stuff right there. Interesting. So this was made in 2019. Let's check out when the insert was made. Actually, I'm curious. Can I feel that through there? Okay, so this is not punched out. Y'all won't be able to see it, but I'm feeling with my pinky. This is actually not this design here. Even though it's so thickly out, it's not actually punched out. This is added on. So I don't know what that is. The insert was made in A of 19. Is there anything immediately noticeable that's different about 2019 inserts? For best results, use Zippo, Flint, and Fluid. It's really not, is there? Guys, <laughs> I'm so excited. There is actually this thing under here. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's just a sticker. It just says, Made in USA. Congratulations on your purchase of this Zippo luxury product. Ooh. <laughs> Well, this is a luxury Zippo, I'm not going to lie. For bet for great tips and hints on the care of your new Zippo lighter, visit Zippo.com slash care. I cannot believe I finally own a Zippo collectible of the year. They actually had a lot of Zippo collectibles of the year on Amazon. I'm actually looking to get a few more. They still have the 2014, which I've always wanted. It's the uh, 1941 replica with the emblem with of Wendy on it. I'm actually thinking that's going to be my next one. They still have the 2018, which is the 360 cut one. I definitely want a 360 Zippo, so I'm probably going to get that one too. In fact, who knows? This year might be the year of, of uh, collectibles of the year. I might just go ahead and catch up, you know what I mean? Because Zippo really hasn't been doing these for very long. I actually think I remember. Right? I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like they did it after they started doing them after I started collecting. But guys, check that out. In fact, let me put the let me put the seal back. I'm this is actually weird. I am gonna leave the seal like this. Normally, people would leave the seal on the lighter, but uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna leave it unsealed. That's crazy that it came unsealed and the seal came on a separate piece. And uh, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it in, but when I was doing that slow like sliding, the uh, guarantee fell out. And this is the same guarantee you get with any other Zippo. In case y'all didn't know, they simplified it. It's only this little booklet type thing. It doesn't open up any more than this at all. That's all you got. <sighs> Check that out. Where did I put the lid? Um, oh, I think it's on the back. 
Guys, I can't believe it. I own this Zippo. I own a collectible of the year, finally. Look, they still do that Easter egg, too, on these fancy boxes. There's a, a little hidden Zippo logo. Do you see it? Let's see if it'll focus. See that hidden Zippo logo? Whoa, and the design continues, too. Look, I thought that was a, a mark. That's a star. That's totally a printed star. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, look, the moon is under there, too. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Guys, let's get that out of the way. That's it for this video. It's a long one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just me kind of reacting to the Zippo collectible of the year for 2019. And guys, I am going to be picking up more of these. Amazon still has them. I'm going to buy them. I'm not even kidding. Um, seriously, guys, I'm I'm planning on, you know, I'm actually, I've actually got right here. These are some Zippos right here that uh, one of my viewers in, can you believe this, Australia wants to buy, okay? And I'm still contemplating this one. He wants to buy this one. This one happens to be my bottom's up. He really does want this one, but I really don't want to get rid of it because this one was given to me from Zippo. So, but he wants to buy these. I'll go ahead and show them to you. He wants to buy the uh, alligator. He wants to buy my piece on the side. Let me show you all that, that unique feature on this one. Where it says piece on the side. Y'all see that? Isn't that cool? He wants to buy this one. He wants to buy... He wants to buy the Bolted. Can you believe that, guys? He wants to buy the Bolted. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I'm going to miss this one. And he wants to buy... The Neon Yellow. The Plain Neon Yellow. So... I don't know, guys. I'm thinking about maybe selling some of my Zippo collection off just to replace them with replace them with nicer Zippos like like this one down here. So, y'all yeah, keep an eye out. I'm probably going to post a few of them to my local uh, classifieds page just because I like to meet some people in my community too. It's always fun. So, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, guys. Anyway, this video, unedited, is 20 minutes long. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end it here. Check out how small this box is, by the way. Like, that is a regular Zippo box. I expected this thing to be, like, really big, like, maybe th that big, you know what I mean? I was ex expecting a big old box, but this looks like a little box of Tic Tacs. <laughs> so, ow. Ooh, that hurt. Landed my thumbnail right on the tripod leg. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm hyped. I can't believe I finally owned a collectible of the year. And I got it for so cheap, too. I can't believe it. Ugh. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so very much for watching and sticking through the whole thing. Adios. One more thing, guys. I noticed this little, this little collectible of the year insert actually pops out and it's hollow under there. So I figured this actually be a neat place if you do buy this. You can just fold up your guarantee. Like so. And then pop it, you know, right under here. It'll fit, which it does. There you go. Good place to keep a guarantee. Just a little, uh, little something I thought I'd throw in there. Because, uh, you know, it doesn't really hold on to the lid very well, does it? Not really. Also, neat little display tip. Since this is a little p clear piece of plastic, if you... You can actually slide this over it. It'll look nice like that if you'd rather do it like that. So I don't know if that's going to be how I display it or not. We'll see. But yeah, anyway, I'm done now. Thanks for watching.